Good morning. So today is Monday. So it's Monday morning and again it is officially cleaning day. That's usually when I round up from the weekend and clean. So I got my iced coffee here. Today we're going to tackle my glam room. It has been neglected for the last couple weeks since I've been working downstairs trying to get my little desk area together. So this but I'm gonna bring you along as I get this room. It is so embarrassing, but it's real life when you don't uh, maintain it. So let me show you what it looks like. So embarrassing. <laughs> okay, so you guys never been in this room, but this is like a bonus room. So it has um, slanted ceilings, but this is what it looks like right now. So we have to get this together. It is just a disaster. Okay, you guys, so at this point, I was getting a little bit frustrated and a little overwhelmed, but Lo and behold, I received this text that made me finish, and this is what it said from Dornell. So that was so encouraging, and I was able to push through, you guys, so that really, really helped me. This is how I house all my tights, um, all my stockings and all that. I don't have any other way to do it, so this seems to work for now. This is what I use to hang my boots on. Um, I believe I got these little clips from Ikea. I think they actually make things that's actually for boots, but I just use this. This is all I can find over here. So I just put the boots together, clip them, and it holds my boots. Okay, so for the most part, this is how I store my pants are down here. Most of them are my dress pants, but I don't have any other way to store my pants. This container is an old um, comforter thing, and I actually when we moved here I packed all my pants into this um, plastic thing so the movers wouldn't have to individually do all my pants so I packed them in here and I put a um, like a downy like a, a dryer sheet inside of here and when I got here I realized I didn't have anywhere to store them so I just left them this thing so I missed the states I had closets and all that stuff but you know it's military life you got to improvise it's not gonna last forever, so I just think of it like that. I just work, make it work for now. So this is working. I just put all my pants in here, keep them folded, and then I'll put a. Um, when I go down to do my wash my sheets, I'll put another bounce in here. But it works. So if you're in small spaces, you gotta think outside the box. I tell you guys that all the time. You gotta improvise. Oh my God, I'm so done. When I tell you this room kicked my butt, it kicked my butt. So let's give you a tour. So when you walk in, this is my door. I just have that hanging on there. Behind the door is, I hung a, a floating shelf. It was so difficult because it's concrete wall. And again, I told you it was a shower rod. And then as you see, I have LED lights running all the way throughout the whole room. This one I can try to get it. Put my pants on this little rack that I put in the wall. 
but that did not work out. I have way too many pants as you see in the video. Let's go back over here. Usually I have my jumpsuits and dresses and um, like my suits for work. Sparkly things and lacy things and all that good stuff. I dedicate to all my vests here. Oh, I'm exhausted. And then here. Um, oh, it's so difficult trying to film in here. That rack here just has more little dresses and all of that. Um, I did go through um, that box and took some of the shoes out. It's only a few, like, summer things. These are summer things, and these are all my shorts in this container here. It's just all shorts in there. Oh, and one little skirt. So, yeah, again, I did take some of the skirts off, but I have to do decluttering another day because cleaning this room kicked my tail. So I didn't declutter as much as I wanted to. But again, this is all my skirts back here. And these are my longer skirts on this little pants hanger here. And then it's more clothes. And then again, I tried to do something up, I'm trying to make these cardboard boxes more than what they are, honey. And put some tape i just need to own it and say hey i put this chase thing right here i think i'm gonna get rid of it i don't know i just don't have nowhere to put it but it does come in handy sometime so i just put that blanket over it just to you know cover up because i actually refinished this let me show you first i refinished it when we lived in the states and i added studs can you see the studs I did that so under here is actually the original fabric which is like a burgundy color and um, I went on and refinished it and then this is I got that little shelf when we first moved here um, from the like a Goodwill or something I did get rid of some of my shoes so they're on the step ready to go Yes, I still have my Cabbage Patch doll from when I was three years old. My grandma gave it to me, so she's been with me for a while. Picture came from Ikea. All my little Hello Kitty things. Some shoes hanging up there. This one, I have candlesticks. Hang, holding that up. Yeah, so. You make it. <laughs> make it so you make it. We call this a clothes rack. I just have all my blazers on there. This little shelf, I'm not quite sure what I'm gonna do with it. Um, what I'm gonna actually use it for right now, it just, oh, it has my water that I was drinking, but it's just having an embossing gun and my, and my diploma. <laughs> That's all there. So, we're back to the beginning of the room. Over here, I just have my rain boots and I stuck a rain jacket in there. Oh, money. And then that's my Zuka. That's where makeup go in. This is my travel suitcase, and I just put my Scullies on there. So yeah, this this is actually Look at Beyonce. Beyonce. <laughs> yes, I still have a Beyonce Barbie from like ooh 2004. They came out with one. Oh, I did this DIY brooch bouquet here. I think I'm going to make another one and um, put it downstairs. Alright you guys, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys very soon. Bye.